The physiological results of having a technique to take deep rest at will are very far-reaching, as the next chart shows. According to 600 studies now that have been published in the world's leading medical journals and conducted at over 250 independent universities throughout the world, we've seen marked reductions in every major category of disease through this very simple program of twice daily rest, including 87% reduction in heart disease, for example. How can we understand 600 studies showing wide-ranging physical benefits from a simple intervention from this technique for deep rest? Well, the basic reason is that we now know from the government, so we have to believe it, <laughs> that about 90% of disease is caused or complicated by stress. If there were a simple means to dissolve accumulated stress, that would have wide-ranging benefits for the prevention and cure of disease. This next study is actually very important. It's a so-called meta-analysis of 146 previously published studies on the effects of what are called meditation techniques and relaxation techniques on reducing stress and the negative effects of stress on brain functioning and on health. The top bar showing the magnitude of the effect is transcendental meditation. And as you can perhaps see, it's more than twice as effective as any other approach that has ever been studied to reduce physiological stress. Also studied in the scientific literature are things like relaxation techniques, the relaxation response, progressive muscle relaxation, meditation techniques like mindfulness meditation, biofeedback, and finally at the bottom of this list, concentration. And as you can see from concentration, provides no relaxation at all because it dynamically engages the mind. The point here is not to engage the mind. The point is to give the mind a few minutes to settle down and sink deeply and naturally experience the state of deep rest, restful alertness. That, has, that is what has such powerful sweeping effects on health and as we'll see on brain functioning. I do want to show one last slide that has to do with the subject of health and leave the further discussion of health to a great medical doctor, Dr. Gary Kaplan, who will be speaking in a few minutes. I want to show this though because it's a very important study on what's called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome called the modern malaise or modern epidemic afflicting young people as well as adults. Metabolic syndrome is the, a combination of high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. There is nothing in the medical literature that simultaneously improves blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity, except for transcendental meditation. And when the AMA, believe it or not, in the Journal of Internal Archives of Internal Medicine, published this result, the AMA actually became so excited about it that they issued a global press release and thousands and thousands of articles were written on this extraordinarily simple intervention to prevent and reverse metabolic syndrome. And if you're a young person, 16 years, 18 years of age, and you already have signs of rising blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, your prognosis for health, for life, is very poor. Now there's something simple, and this is the only thing that's been found scientifically to reverse all those symptoms. Enough of health for the moment. I just wanted to mention that all of these extensive health benefits that I've only alluded to are side effects of what is really a mental process. Meditation is a mental technique. And what is fundamentally happening, what is so exciting to me as an educator, is what's happening in the brain, what's happening in the mind. And the next chart just shows that with modern investigative procedures like the EEG, electroencephalogram, and the MEG, inspect and PET, and MRI, and functional MRI, we can study what's going on in the brain during the meditation experience. And it's a very profound transformation, as this chart shows. This chart shows, by the way, on the left-hand side, 
the top view and front view of the brain and on the right hand side as well. But the difference is on the left hand side is a student, a subject, an ordinary, agitated, stressed, waking consciousness. Now there are little dots on the scalp in this picture. They indicate the position of electrodes measuring the neuronal firings. And you'll see on this chart occasionally there are bars connecting neighboring points on the brain. Where you see a bar, it means that those neighboring parts of the brain are communicating. They're functioning in a correlated way, an integrated way. But in ordinary agitated waking consciousness, on the left, there's not much coordination in the brain, not much order, not much coherence. The brain is functioning, frankly, in a very scattered fashion. On the right-hand side, we show the very same student three months later practicing the Transcendental Meditation program and experiencing this meditative state, this expanded, silent state of consciousness. What you see is the whole brain is, you could say, crisscrossed by coherence. That means the whole brain functions in concert, in a completely integrated and coherent way. Orderliness of brain functioning. And the difference is like a symphony, frankly, before the conductor arrives and the instruments are warming up and no attempt to coordinate the music, you get a cacophony of discordant sound. That's frankly what our brains look If you've ever seen your own EEG, it's, it's depressing. <laughs> There's no obvious order, no obvious intelligence in there, not much. But in the meditative state, we have this profound orderliness of brain functioning. It's like the composer arrives and raises his baton and suddenly that chaos is transformed into flowing music. The chart on the right shows the whole brain functioning in concert, in a coherent, orderly way. That is an educational breakthrough of the foremost magnitude because, as the next chart shows, orderly brain functioning correlates with intelligence or IQ, rising creativity, academic performance, learning ability, moral reasoning, emotional maturity, psychological stability, alertness, reaction time, everything good about the brain depends on its orderly functioning. And now today with this tool of meditation we can systematically increase the order and coherence of the brain in any student, indeed any adult. It's extremely simple, extremely natural.